Getting going. Getting going. Here we go. Ben Harkins, enter the waiting room. Uh, hello, everybody. Welcome to the podcast. Uh, I am your host, Chad Johnson. Uh, right there on the ones and zeros in a separate location. We're going crazy here. Dak Chapel, everybody. There he is. Hello. Boom. Okay. I'm in my element and, now. And uh, not here yet, but be here very soon. On this side, we'll be. Uh, We'll introduce her when she gets here. Uh, but for now, we're going to get our guest in here uh, from, uh, let's just ad admit him right in here, get him ready to, hey, there he is, Ben Harkins, everybody. Hey, all the way from, how we doing? Good, good. All the way from uh, Portland, Oregon. Yeah, all the way up here. All the way. I was yeah. talking to, uh, I was talking to some comics about doing the podcast and they're like, do we have to drive 45 minutes or can we just do it on Zoom? And I was like, actually, it's we have a specific way we do it. We have you, you drive down and then you record on Zoom, but in a separate room in our house. So we have like a nice setup. And I was like, really? <laughs> no, dude, just get on. No, you don't have to do that anymore. People are connected all over the world now. This is normal. Yeah. It's funny. It's like um, people are connected all over the world, but I'm still like talking to people, having people on the show that are like right down the street. Yeah, it's like, like you're right, right over there. But like, I know people in different states, and it, it'll be nice to have that taken advantage of. Yeah, have you reached out of Oregon yet, or is it mostly uh, mostly been locals on this? We had uh, Marie Adams, who was a Salem comic, but then she moved to uh, Zach. Help me out, Ohio. Ohio, there we go. All right, all the way in Ohio. Yeah. That's cool. <clears throat> yeah, she's cool. Uh, but now she's back in Salem, so it almost doesn't even count. It, it's kind of a moot. Uh, distance person kind of dipped her toes in in ohio and then came right back that's fun oh yeah yeah um let me check this over here i'm gonna be kind of messing with a little bit of this tech business because i i i'm um, yeah uh cool so there's am that. i it's coming am i coming through all right my uh my roommate started vacuuming like right now nine at night yeah, I told him like I was doing this too. I don't know what his deal is. Like, <laughs> <laughs> sabotage. He started sabotage your comedy like, career. Whatever. It's 2020. Like, and nothing works. Let's just <laughs> let's just. <do> it. <laughs> it was uh, we were recording with uh, Justin Ammerman a couple weeks ago, and one of his roommates while he was playing just started playing video games, and so his just his video just stopped, and you just couldn't hear anything anymore, and he just had to go yell at someone to stop playing online i can see him doing that i went on a hike with justin a little while ago and he he can be uh you know he can be a bit of a uh firecracker when things uh -huh. start to fall apart so that's why i like him we go along so well yeah he's a great guy to go on hikes with he's just I bet. Uh, pretty pretty intense we go we take uh like cute pictures for instagram and stuff like <laughs> I, I was yeah. telling him because like i've been doing ever since like you know, like my life fell apart. I've been trying to just do whatever to deal with it. So I, I kind of tried to be like a, like a cute guy on Instagram for uh -huh. a while. And when I've we, seen those, I like them. yeah, when he, when we go on hikes, we're just like, like, Hey, lean on that tree, dude. It's going to look like really, the babes are going to really dig that one. And it's yeah. always just dudes liking each other's pictures and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it really is. That's sweet. Does okay. that not pump you up anyway, as much as it would if like a cute girl liked it? No, absolutely. Like I just took right. like this picture because I've been, uh, I've been working out more than ever just because I'm at home and I'm in prison. So it's like, yeah. all right, yeah, I'll do push-ups and sit-ups like that. What's that movie with like De Niro where he gets ripped in prison? Taxi Driver. No, no, no. He wasn't in prison. Uh, I know what you mean. Blades of Thunder, Rolling uh, Thunder, Bull, Bull, Raging no, he, Bull. He's like a he's like a killer, like in, in this oh. movie where it's like Raging, um Raging Bull, isn't it? Yeah, that's a boxing movie. Oh, I don't know any of those actually. Yeah, the tricep dips. Cape Fear. Cape Fear is what I'm talking about. Yeah, and so I'm trying to get ripped, and I I I just like took a picture with my my shirt off, and it's like it's like dinging right now, and it's all dudes. And I think that they're just kind of proud of me for getting kind of ripped in prison, you know? There's a lot of, um, <laughs> I've uh, perused some various um, subreddits uh, <laughs> where dudes really build each other up for, like, getting bulked, and it's just, it's sweet. Oh, um, I see. You know, it's not, yeah. 
I go I look at all the subreddits. If I pop up on front, then I look at it usually. Uh -huh. Because it's interesting to see what kind of. It's funny we both stopped doing. the conversation when Ryan Reynolds had his shirt up in the movie last night. It's like, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're watching Wade. Have... There's, there's a you scene with his back. Back. You're talking yeah, about waiting about... when he Ryan Reynolds in waiting. Uh -huh. Yeah, we made it about 15 minutes in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember that movie with my uh, high school brain, and so I'm like, yeah, it's pretty good, right? And then I, I forgot yeah. that whole part where they show each other their dicks and buckles <laughs> all the time. Sorry for spoiling it, Zach. It's on his list, but I don't give a fuck. It's just a shitty movie. Yeah, um, like... Yeah. What, Ben? A lot of those 2000s comedies kind of had a very, like, macho, bro-y, dumb attitude, and it didn't age well. It's just not as funny as it used to be. Well, and, it uh, was... Like, homophobia was so accepted as, like, a form of comedy. Uh, and then, that's all it was. It was just like, yeah. I don't know, man. Like, you're probably going to go get fucked in the ass. It's like, oh, yeah, well, you probably want to suck my dick right now. And just people are just like, holy shit. Yeah. Give <laughs> it up for Will Ferrell, everyone. He's a genius. <laughs> He's a comedic genius. He said, he said, I'm going to get fucked in the ass. He said it himself. <laughs> oh, hold on. Speaking of guys liking other guys' uh, Instagram posts, I'm going to get it. I was wondering. Yeah. What is this? This is my pre-show and tell. Oh, but yeah, this is just yeah. up on the wall. The uh, oh, the Harkins, the famous Harkins. Oh shit! Oh, yeah, it's, I, you can see how the sausage is made. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I made. Uh, yeah, like that's a, a picture uh, my friend Amber took of me doing just uh, doing headshots, and we were at a park. I wanted to look majestic, and then I kind of just cropped it out and put some art behind it. I I don't. I think I posted that after the world fell apart, didn't I? That was something into quarantine. Uh, it was it was my Cinco de Mayo gift that Zach got me. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, that was in it. Yeah. Yeah, that was. I remember you getting that. It was nice because I hadn't seen any Portland comics for a while. Yeah, I think that print turned out good. I don't know. Like I've just been trying to make as much weird. I don't know. Just do anything to exist on the internet, just to kind of deal with it, you know. Yeah, and do as much as you can because you can't really do much else. Like you can't go perform in a place, so try to figure out another way to flex that creative energy. I guess. Like, yeah, I've yeah. just been like freaking out online, and people seem to like it. It's like, eh, yeah, I'm not. I'm not going to act like I'm taking this well. Might as well lean into it. Get kind of crazy. Yeah. Have you taken up any new hobbies or interests? Uh, I mean, push-ups and sit-ups was the most of it. Uh, I've been playing a little bit of keyboard. I used to play in bands, and I was just like, oh, yeah, I have this, like, sick keyboard from uh, when I played in bands. It, it's, like, it was the most expensive thing I ever bought. I took out, like, a credit card to buy this, like, really cool red Nord keyboard. I played in bands for a few years, and I, I've just had it. I never wanted to get rid of it. I've, I've thought about selling it, but would never seriously. And now I'm just kind of screwing around with it, making Instagram posts, just trying to cook up a song here and there and get that. I've seen those and I like them. Yeah. Uh, people like it when you show a video of yourself playing piano. But like if, if I made like a piano album, nobody would give a shit. I'm pretty sure like it's just <laughs> Instagram is just about like you have your face has to be in it. And then people will be like interested in whatever's behind you or whatever's happening. Yeah. Like Sweet sword, by the way. Uh, oh, what? <laughs> Sweet swords, by the way. Oh yeah, I've got some. Yeah, I've got swords. Been uh, <laughs> my first thing that I bought when things shut down. Like my uncle sent me this like gift card for Amazon like a long time ago, and he he was like, "Hey, you should use that for like supplies." for like the coming months and i was like yeah totally and i just got like the biggest fucking sword and <laughs> really <cool. laughs> you never know when they'll need it i mostly I respect just, like, the decision personally yeah i mostly just hold it in bed when i'm freaking out and just like yeah i'm not crazy <laughs> it's a security sword yeah yeah in multiple ways it's your your, your spooning sword yeah it's mostly a spooning sword now I feel like it's normal to fall asleep with a knife or a sword. It's almost like, you know, a kid with a stuffed animal. Yeah. I got yeah, I got my good. sleeping, one of my sleeping pocket knives right here. Ooh, nice. Sleep with that? Yeah, keep, keep, yeah, keep it right by me in case someone comes in my window. Mm -hmm. 
Is that the one you said right. you're not done voters with? Uh, no, that is, where's that one? Oh, it's right here. Safety zone. <laughs> this is the one I threatened the down voters with. Okay. Too nice. The sharpest tiny anything. one. That's for if there's another guy. Uh-huh. Yeah. That one's mostly for opening packages, actually, and mail. That's what I use it the most for. Yeah. <laughs> Good. You can also open some packages with it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, open a mail. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're there. Yeah, we're in the same. Have you picked up any like uh, planting or gardening stuff? No, I don't really have space for that. I, like my front yard is just a, a parking lot for. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I don't, I don't, I really haven't gotten into gardening. I should put a plant in here just to maybe like a little succulent. They're yeah, just to kill, apparently bring some, bring some no, light into this room. But, uh, you know, I mean, se seven months in, I, I, I don't think I'm going to get into, I don't think it's my passion. I think I would have yeah. thought of it already, you know? Yeah, that's true. Mm. So has it really just been like push-ups and sit-ups? You haven't like started any other things that you haven't done before and you're like, well, fuck it, might as well. Uh, yeah, I mean, a few things here and there, but nothing that's like taken. I, I'm mostly just, you know, I write, I do the same old shit that I would before and been uh i was playing final fantasy 7 for a while and i had to turn that off i, I deleted the game halfway through because it was just like that's like a game that i played in high school and now it's yeah. just i'm hanging out with like these two video game babes from when i was a virgin and now they look more real and i haven't i'm just so like alone hanging out with these like I felt like I had like waifus. I'm just like I gotta delete this fucking game. I'm not doing this. <laughs> I like I can feel my virginity just growing back. <laughs> it sucks. It's not sad. I think a lot of people are feeling that in quarantine. Mm. Yeah, you gotta like I don't know. I gotta adapt. You gotta just. It's gotta be like calculated risk. Just like go on a fucking date somewhere. I don't know. Yeah, well, hiking is probably one of those things that really helps you forget that, you know, shit's upside down. Oh, yeah, totally. Getting out in nature, it's grounding. I like, um, you know, I've been going camping a lot. I guess that's something I took up. It's just uh, going camping and uh, walking around in nature and kind of trying to forget everything. The last time I went camping, like it was like blue skies and then like we we got away from the fires and like the smoky skies and i pulled up to this like great spot at like beacon rock and we we're just like yeah this is perfect we got away from all the smoke in the air and then it just rolls in and we just hear that it's like hey this smoke is like really toxic for you, you got so we had to cut everything short you can't get away it's the end of the world like it's not you yeah. can like do little things to feel all right here and there but you got to just kind of face it this is like yeah this is some apocalypse <laughs> shit so so do you are you kind of on the uh, dystopia path oh yeah totally how could you not be i don't i don't see like, oh yeah it, it, are people really like oh yeah i can't wait for the election yeah that's totally gonna that's really yeah, gonna turn this ship like, around i started asking that question and it was like a like oh i wonder like where we're actually headed like we're gonna we have to either like fix everything and then it's gonna be yeah. great or just watch everything happen and we're like, oh, this, this all makes sense going that way. And like Ready Player One is one of the things that I keep bringing up because of the way that they live and the way that they're just kind of diving into their electronics and just going like, oh, this is, I don't want to pay attention to anything out here. It's all right here. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, sort of a cyberpunk escapism thing. I mean, we live in like this like post-truth like paradigm right now where it's hard to even engage with the actual news because every single fact has to be you have to question its legitimacy and its motivations and you can't really just yeah like you get these the facts what what do you say like when the president got covid exactly you know, and everybody like, ah, sucker but then it's like wait a minute we're still in this horrible swamp of misinformation and and um targeted lies that are flying around yeah, yeah what if he's just a scared guy in an office and he's not allowed to actually talk to anybody and they're just like we sorry we have to tell him that you and he's like actually a good guy and then uh and the, it's just this whole shadow government thing and they're just like 
You know, he has to be the face this time uh, when the world crumbles. Uh, I don't believe any of that, but what if? He's still just being the reality TV show host. And he's like, wow, I didn't sign up for any of this and drag yeah. his family down. He's like, you want me to say what? That's terrible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or not. Like the. Uh... Go back. Right. But yeah, like. Well, that's I... kind of... The whole kind of, oops, I'm sorry. The whole kind of like conspiracy thing and like the dark side of everything is is that kind of what you do on your uh, that dark web show? I've I've never seen it, but I I like the idea sound. Uh, I mean, dark web was uh, it was just a, a show where we'd show like really fucked up funny videos from the internet, and I was it was my passion project. Like we we just I don't know we loved doing it. Basically, we'd just bring comics on and show them terrible videos watch the, watch an audience cringe at like these terrible like impact videos i would always open up the show with just a, some catastrophic failure from like the catastrophic failure reddit it was so cool it was a good show i, I think saw it. It was I was hilarious a, i was a good comedian you know you guys all wore sunglasses if i remember right oh yeah i have these um i amassed like a collection of cool sunglasses when we were like making it, just like these are my favorite ones. Just like blue ones. Boom. Oh hell yeah. Yeah, but that was another oh, was time. Okay. You know, that was before <laughs> that was before like seven months of having like no like vision of the future whatsoever. It's just been uh, trying to figure it out. Have you done any dope backyard shows or anything like that? I, I have done a couple of like cool shows. I did a couple of shows on the coast and the first time I just kind of freaked out and couldn't remember any of my jokes and ended up talking about like Black Sabbath and my dad for like 20 minutes. And it was it was <laughs> funny. It, it was it was funny because it sucked, but it wasn't like what I would normally do. Then I, I went back, I did another show and there's a lot to talk about. Like it's not hard to come up with material for the way things are right for sure yeah there's there's so many people because i've done some like backyard shows and like just little things here and there and when you first start hearing the mic condom joke it's like okay and then there's like the fifth or sixth show you do and you know it gets to the point where is that like zach was at a show and he went up to the host and he's like if you fucking tell another mic condom joke i'm leaving and i'm never going to talk to you again it's just <laughs> but yeah, somebody has to tell the show the, the, the condom joke because uh, I mean those people at that audience, you know, you got we have to acknowledge that it's this true. is fucking crazy. Like yeah. you just kind of have to let people know. It's like, yeah, we know it sucks. It's not like it used to be. You can't pack in people and laugh as a unit like we used to. Like you kind of have to. I don't know. It's it, it's it's not. I'm I'm just glad that there's anything going on at all. Yeah. Oh, well, for sure. People seem really excited to go to shows, but at the same time, yeah, it is very weird. And I think even before COVID, it was the comics job to get a room comfortable being there and like letting down whatever guard they need to let down in order to enjoy a comedy show. And now it's like people are ready to laugh, like they're hungry for it, but you still, you know, it's a, you know that everyone's coming from a much um darker place outside the comedy show mm -hmm. yeah i think it's important to just kind of talk about what's going on with everyone like i'm not going to act like hey do you guys want to hear about uh ordering pizza how about that you know like i'll talk about whatever like i'll do like maybe some old jokes but like when i was going through my old jokes trying to find like what still sticks it's like none of it uh, we yeah. live in hell, so you yeah. gotta have to talk about hell. It's more interesting. There's plenty to talk about. You just need to kind of change. Just go with it, and you know, yeah. riff, you know, make it up. It's weird to see people perform doing only their old material now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was just thinking that. Yeah, it feels like bullshit. It's just like, yeah. oh yeah, like, hey, oh man. But then my wife was like, I can't believe you you haven't vacuumed over there. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> like there's fucking <laughs> there's like so there's fire the place is on fire there's police brutality there's riots there's fucking everything like it's it's so crazy that you know 
uh, no, there's no baseline reality for anyone yeah. to just feel comfortable in, which I thought was kind of the point of like a good joke is like, oh yeah, is aren't we all thinking this? Here's our baseline reality. Now everybody is like has been locked up for so long. Like I've been, mm -hmm. you can't just ask people how are you doing, like yeah. they're fuck like that's a loaded question now. Yeah. Now you have to ask people, how are you doing anything? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just like, what? Oh, it's amazing that you did anything. Did you say yeah. that you like folded your clothes? That's great. Like it's an accomplishment. Yeah. Just and it's, it's crazy that people saying it's a weird time. Like it, it's, you know, it's a weird time we're going through. That's become so cliche because it is such a weird thing that it's just part of like my daughter is saying like, wow, 2020 is a crazy thing. And she's not even nine. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like, well, 2020's nuts, dude. It's like, so weird coming from a child. Yeah. Yeah, to have a, a child <laughs> understand that reality as we know it, like, just isn't here anymore. And um, we won't be around for the foreseeable future. But, like, yeah, but all the children are going to be, who knows what the hell is going to happen to the kids. I, I don't envy. Yeah. I don't They're going to be kids. so smart or so stupid. <laughs> like someone like his kid it's going to be so smart because she like has to be she's pretty smart yeah mm -hmm. she already is but she's you know she's uh being raised by people who like accept new information and technology and shit into their world or they're going to be kids of these like all lives matter morons who support trump and are like nope nothing new this makes me uncomfortable you're Wait, a child are you saying on. all lives don't matter yeah yes that's what i'm saying okay all no i'm saying all lives equally are unimportant we have to stay home, but it's because it's fake. It's yeah. Like, how the fuck are you gonna like? How the fuck are you not gonna take that into the rest of your life and be like, wow, the entire world is fake? Like, you know, I was kind of feeling the same way when things were falling apart, though. I, it, it was like, it was like my birthday. It was my birthday, like on like March nineteenth. So it was like a couple oh, of no. months before when things were just <laughs> down. I was like. Wow, that's so crazy. I can't believe that the bars are going to be closed for two weeks. This is unprecedented. <laughs> like, yeah. I've never seen capitalism even like miss a beat even once in my whole life. And then I was like, oh shit, this is going to be big. This is going to be. I was texting my friends, like, don't trust anyone. Like, just freaking out. <laughs> like, on my birthday, I just got drunk and was like, don't you dare trust anyone. People are going to be cutting each other's throats in the streets like <laughs> freaking out <laughs> close yeah yeah it wasn't that far off you know they could still get there <laughs> so um how close is your keyboard ben? uh it's uh over here to my i, I guess uh it's right over S stage here. Right? yeah cool. oh nice so is there a way that you could uh do it play a little music for us? Uh, I didn't really plan on that. I have to like plug a few things in and yeah, I, I'm, I, I'm kind of just going to give you a, like a hard, uh, I, I guess I could, I'd have to can unhook my mic and my headphones, but, uh, uh have, can you do it acapella? Like just like <laughs> you're playing, but just, just with your uh, mouth? Just be like, did it, 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 yeah, that's a, impressive yeah yeah i mean that sounds really good i i if you had to unplug something and and uh get it over there i mean it'd be cool but if that's too much for you if you have to, if it's too far and too much work i understand i i think i i think the thing might be i'd have to unplug a few things nah i i, I mean i i kind of didn't if you wanted me to play piano you should have you should have been like hey you should have your piano Oh, I was totally yeah. good. I was totally planning on springing it on you. I wrote it down, but I didn't warn you ahead of time. Oh, so that's what this is. That's a, you know, I, I mean, are we doing anything more important? I guess I could. Just give me like two seconds, all right? Yeah, yeah. no, I do. I got time. Station, all right. Yeah. I'll play some um, setting up keep keys of my own. Yeah, perfect. Um, and then you can attempt to play better than I'm about, about to attempt. attempt which uh, good luck. With I heard that. a challenge just now. I'm pretty sure. Uh -huh. Good luck playing better. And this shit right here. Here we go. <laughs> Just do a pre-recorded song. <laughs> ah, it's so loud. Okay. Now we set up the cut. Okay, it's, it's gonna all right. make it loud to you. Zach, do a bit. Hey, uh, you don't know.
don't think we should call this is the uh, a, a penis off. The penis off? Yep. Oh, the penis off. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, however you say it, I don't know for sure. That's the only song I could find. I wrote that. It's really good. Thanks. Good old fashioned. Yeah, I want to hear it exactly the same. Oh, 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 that's good. Oh, good. Thank God. <laughs> only song I know. Hey, what, what race do you think this guy is? Where's my camera? Um, that guy is. That guy's a 5K. Shit. What? Oh, wow. I get it. Do another one. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. What do you call. Wait, what does this look like? I'm going to need. No. Nope. Okay. But to do things. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. I'm almost ready. Are you guys picking this up? Yeah. Oh, that sounds great. Cool. What's this look like? Uh, it's supposed to be an elephant with a big penis. Is this a portrait? <laughs> yep. Oh, here we go. I'm so excited. Me too. Okay, I think I can do this with my head with one headphone in. There we go. That's great. Do you? Uh, that was great. I uh, have you ever made a whole podcast wet at the same time? Oh, Emma's killing bugs. I don't know. No one ever told me that I made the whole podcast wet, but you know, that was you could call us a wet ass podcast. <laughs> uh, that was great. I love it that like WAP and Tiger King are like the only two cultural events of like, except for, <laughs> except for all the severe, yeah. terrible. Yeah, I wish that was like the. Uh, whatever he's saying. Um, but yeah, I haven't, I haven't experienced, <laughs> look at his face, it's frozen that way. Uh, I haven't experienced um, the WAP song, never heard it. And I, I didn't watch Tiger King. So it's a music video. You missed oh, out on both of those? Yeah, no, I mean, I didn't miss out. Yeah, I, I just couldn't out. Uh, go for it. When, when things become a big enough zeitgeist, it turns me off to the thing. So, like, the whole world's talking about Tiger King, and I go, oh, I don't want to do that. It doesn't sound good. Like, I don't know. It, it just yeah, kind of I get what you mean, and, and it's honestly kind of just sort of a trashy, horrible cultural event you know it wasn't uh florida so i know a lot of that kind of i get it and it's like people are like can you believe yep that they're uh-huh doing the whole yes with the alligators yeah they're they have dude they have uh in florida they have a place called uh fud puckers not fud ruckers but fud puckers in florida and uh it's like a place you can get alligator to eat but also uh down below they have this place where you can throw food to the alligators oh that sounds awesome it's great. It's so cool. 
How did you guys get to alligators from Ben's beautiful keyboard playing? Uh, I said that his keyboard reminds me, because of all the scales, reminds me of alligators. Got it. I'm caught up. Thank you. Here we are. <laughs> there it is. Comedy is still alive. Woo! Nailed it. Yeah, that was great, though. Yeah. I'm glad you. I'm glad you kept your keyboard. Yeah, the damn thing's pretty expensive. I, I I would have sold it like a long time ago. I just like I don't know. I've lived in some shitholes, and I was always like, well, at least I have this dope ass fucking red keyboard. I like it that it's red. And yeah, that's the main thing, you know. It's really good. Well, it's like my friend Torin, which I I never bust out. Uh, he's um, visiting. <laughs> he lives in my closet. Um, no, I had this French horn, which I like bought from my old French horn teacher. Did you ever get it? No. I mean, Ben, it's, unplugged it. What are we doing? Phone. What are we doing that's so important that we can't <laughs> check out not, this French horn? What is it? It's not a thing that's like nice to, to break out and you, like listen to me play this French horn. I also, I'm very out of practice. I, the French horn is the one that you like put your hand in, right? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. That's the one. You, you have to fist it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the funniest thing to me in high school. school. I mean, okay. I'll let me tease it for next time, yeah. or she, or you can think about it. I mean, I am springing this on you. I did write it down, but I am springing this on you. <laughs> oh wait, we can almost start a ska band. I got a trombone in the corner. It's rusty. I'd have to move a lot of. Why does he always that? freeze at the longest times? <laughs> I don't know why I keep freezing. Uh, Put on a blanket. Open your door, and then there's still a there's yeah, still yeah, it's actually probably it. Get, get let some of the Wi-Fi in there. Get a fan. Let some of the Wi-Fi in. I hear you're supposed to put the router up high. That way, it all kind of falls down on the computer. <laughs> oh, because Wi-Fi is heavier than air. Yeah. Dude, I did Sorry. put the router up higher because the signal was weak. I was like, I think it's if it's better if it's higher. I don't know any of that. We're all just using this shit. Being like, I don't know. I think this will like really reverse the polarity on this fucking signal. I don't like none of us yeah. know how any of it works. How it means it's just the only thing that works anymore. <laughs> that used to make it's sense because they had like the antennas and stuff, the original <laughs> ones, and you would yeah. it would be like, here, make sure to pull the antenna out. That was fun. <laughs> I was camping one time and I there was this lady on the phone and she was holding a fucking spoon in the air. <laughs> and I was like, is that lady the smartest lady ever, or is she just thinking that's going to work, but I didn't think it was stupid. I wouldn't question that. I just figured that would work. Yeah. Yeah. I think she's smart. Like, because take off your shoes thing. first and connect the whole thing. Yeah, that metal, because that metal creates a... Something. Yeah, you know, like a, like a lightning rod for, uh, you know, the signal and shit. That was the same time I realized, uh, the same camping trip, I realized that you just get hot dogs and then you put Prego on it. That's it. That's all you need. Prego? Yeah, it's really good. Prego. I've just been I, I like the I like doing like sausages and hot dogs though, because it's just pretty easy to cook over a fire. I have this like dope ass retractable fork that I keep forgetting to use. I don't know why I brought that up. I don't know. I <laughs> I, 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 I wanna like go camping more. This is gonna suck so much more when you can't go camping. I, I'm just so doomy about the winter coming. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh yeah. It's gonna be rough, and there's gonna be a big resurgence in cases because everyone's gonna be inside with all the recirculating air. And people yeah, all the QAnons. Q We're all gonna be QAnons in the winter. Oh, thank God. I already was. I really want to save those kids. I don't know what you guys are <laughs> doing, focusing your time elsewhere, but well, kind of in shipping containers, man. Wait, are they still in the in the un Wait, underwater or whatever? Yeah, they're in the pizza basement. Are they are they in the Chilean mine still? <laughs> they just like they have jobs. Oh no, they're in uh they're in ice cages. Um, so they're in, like, they were pretty certain that they were getting them out of Central Park, um, and pulling them up into and there was like somebody like bundled up in like a a tan blanket, and there was just sort of a shitty photo of like somebody in a tan blanket and it was just a shitty resolution photo and all the QAnons were like these children are so deformed what has happened to them what what are we going to do to protect <laughs> is that a chimera is it an extraterrestrial because like the the lore of QAnon is so deep and weird and it's bottomless 
it's so dense and you can't trace it because there's no logic to any of it. I think that's why it's dangerous. Usually when like yeah. cult leaders start a cult like this, they sort of it's sort of a charismatic person like me comes around and they just sort of exploit people who are like vulnerable and like their life sucks. Like, I don't know, they got kicked out of their house or they don't have a job. And it's like, hey, I can solve all your problems with like whatever, you know, phantoms or mysticism or whatever. And then I mean, if you play that piano like that, them. you can convince me of anything. Oh, yeah, I, I, I would bring that. David mm -hmm. Koresh played electric guitar and that's how he mm -hmm. got them off. Like, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> but the uh, the the way cults would usually logically end is it becomes a colony of people that are isolated away from everything. So the guy kind of keeps it under control under his control and manipulates everyone, and it eventually like folds under its own weight and ends. But this is just the internet in all directions. So every spiritual person or and everybody is on the outs with their life. Everybody is like alone and isolated. So it's just getting them deep. And it's it's a cult that grows outward and can't be contained by the death of a, of a leader or anything because there is no leader. It's just yeah. an anonymous thing. Yeah, yeah that's fun. what's so scary about it. So what that's not going anywhere, yeah. No, just, you know, maybe someone uh, takes over the cue voice and it's loud enough. Uh, who can guide them all back to reality? But that's a pipe dream, I'm sure. Ooh, how what? about this? What I want to become the leader of Q and just spout so much nonsense. Everyone's like, "What the? This is a bit." He's been running a bit for like the last seven years. Somebody beat you to the punch on this. There's one guy who was like, "Guys, I'm Q, <laughs> but I'm from the future. Like I'm the future Q, <laughs> or, or like Q, me from the future sent back." And like he's doing that, and some people are like, "Wow, that's so cool that Q is here, guys. This is Q." And other people oh are like, God. "What the fuck? Get out of here! That's obviously bullshit. We got to get back to these mutant chimera children. These mutant chimera <laughs> children need our fucking help. You time travel is bullshit. Everything else that was that was real." Like, uh, well, <laughs> it's good to know they have a line. Yeah. <laughs> it sucks. God, so it's so wild because yeah i mean it's just a cult there's no it's baseline just, reality what, anymore it's just yeah. how it is like people are we're all gonna get sucked into something like that mm -hmm. sure. we're all just gonna be like eh, fuck it i'll, I'll be in a cult whatever <laughs> yeah the world is scary we're all very vulnerable if i could join a woods cult and just wear white and hang out and sing songs and like not have a phone anymore those do I Those don't sound so bad. Yeah, I could go for that for about a, uh, I guess a year or two until maybe until the mask goes up. Until whatever the fuck happens happens, <laughs> whatever we're waiting for. There's not yeah. going to be a vaccine. We're just going to be, <laughs> like, we're just going to be like this now. So yeah, I, I think maybe it'll work be... Be cool. Yeah, of all the cults to be in, if it means abandoning your computer and not you know, scrolling endlessly through Twitter to find your cult leader's messages, sign me up. Yeah. Get it right from the source. Sing some songs. Don't let other people in. Buy some guns. Eat some mushrooms. Uh, all the women marry the one guy and all sure. the dudes aren't allowed to jack off anymore. And then sure. that sounds like I could spend a year doing that. I don't know. Uh, the clothespin dystopia. Mm. Clothespin? <laughs> oh, wait, what is that a thing? Um, wait, what does that mean? Yeah, clothespin dystopia. Uh, where the dudes can't jerk off, so they gotta put clothespins on their dicks. <laughs> Doy. <laughs> do you think that's what the Proud Boys do? Sorry, I'm trying to log into a thing. It can't be. <laughs> <laughs> I just pick up on certain things, and then that's that was one of them. Don't you wish the Proud Boys were all just jerk off just once? I, I think, think they, they do. Each other I off think collectively. I huh? like. I think they're lying about that. Like, yeah, they. I don't know. Maybe they're just getting back into like dry humping their wives, and like. Do they have wives? Aren't they like? Well, yeah. I, don't I know, mean, whatever. There are proud boy ets or whatever they're called. Proud girls. Proud bitches. Yeah. I don't remember what they, but it's like a separate entity because you can't be in it. 
It is kind of fun that all the, the gay boys are taking over the proud boy hashtag. I love that. <laughs> I saw, yeah. I saw, I saw one where uh, there was these two guys and they had their hands coming out of their right here and they were they were like holding hands. Out of that. <laughs> so good. Yeah, I like that. It's charming. It's a horrible place. Okay. Um, ben, funny? Ben, have you ever heard of the game show Jeopardy? Yes. Cool. Uh, we like to play a game on this show called Joke Pretty. Nice. I I'm like intimidated that. now. <laughs> With what? I don't know the Jeopardy song. I, it's it, it's like free notes, right? Oh, yeah. I, just it. I just did it. So, something that's also funny. Yeah, that's good. Uh. <laughs> Shit. Fuck. Never mind. Out. <laughs> okay. So uh, this this is going to be a uh, a little shorter version of uh, joke pretty. It's going to be uh, two categories, and it's just it's going to go a little bit quicker. And it's going to be two categories in between. Um, uh, name that comic and geez, who died? Don't even jokes. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay. Uh, and all my uh, answers have to be in the form of a question. If you'd like, it might award you some extra bonus points. Okay. Yeah. Um, but uh, you won't get you won't get uh, penalized um, for not at answering that way. Unless you want. Right. Um, okay. So Ben, you are the guest, and we have the categories of. Name that comic, which is pretty straightforward. I'll, I'll give you some clues about a comedian, and uh, not like a famous comedian. It's like a you know the we yeah. Uh, and then, geez, who died is uh, comedians who are dead. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna go. Uh, geez, who died for uh, what, however many points? Uh, for one point. Oh yeah. Oh oh sorry. Thank you. Uh, oh. What's what's gonna be your buzz end noise? Ding. Perfect. Wow, that's great. Classic. I like that. Emma? Um, Dong. Okay, I'm, I'm, right next to you. I'm right next to you, so you, you're taking Dong. Dong. She's taking Dong. I'll, I'll take you. Ding. <laughs> Zach. <clears throat> oh, it's, yeah. I can hear him in the other room, too. And um, <laughs> are we playing by the same rules where um, we, Zach, and I have to wait until the questions? Yeah, so Zach and Emma have to wait until the question is done being read until they answer. Ben, you can buzz in any time because the, the internet has a little bit of a, you know, you get it. Got it, yeah. Cool. Um, yeah, so we got Name That Comic and G's Who Died. Okay, um, I, I'll, and I'll pick the pick it right now? Yep. All right, I'm going to go G's Who Died for two G's Who Died. There it is. Found it. Uh, this comedian was born in 1949, died in 1984, and some people said he used to torture his audiences. He died of cancer, and some people believe he faked his own death. Ding? Ben. Is it Bill Hicks? No, it's not Bill Hicks. Dong. Dong. Who's, who's Andy Kaufman? Andy Kaufman is the answer. Yeah. Yeah, it was it was it was an early one. Uh, Emma Jonas. I got uh, it. Oh, uh, you got uh, it. Jeez, uh, who died? Or name that comic. Name that comic. Name that comic. Okay. Uh, born in 1955, this comedian was in the movie Half Baked, Babe, Pig in the City, Natural Born Killers, Coffee and Cigarettes, and the Emoji Movie. He's known for his monotone, one-liner comedy style. And he also supplied the voice of the radio DJ in Reservoir Dogs. Dong. Dong. Who is Stephen Wright? Who is Stephen Wright? <laughs> I knew that one. Uh, I want fire, baby. Fire. That's, name yeah. that comic. Uh, name that comic. <clears throat> Born in 1965, this comedian has a gun control bit that often resurfaces when a lot of gun violence is in the news. Dang. 
Ben Harkins. It's uh, it's the Australian guy. It's um, it, it's not the Australian guy actually. Um. Yeah, um, but I I, I did put that in as kind of a misdirect. This comedian also played a zebra in an animated movie trilogy. Has six comedy specials with a ten year break between the last two. <clears throat> Is that terrible? Uh, Chris Rock. Who is Chris Rock is correct. Also, the other one was Jim Jeffries. No one said his name, but he also has a great gun control bit. Yes, he does. Chris Rock had the bit of uh, every bullet should cost $500. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's a good one. He just hosted SNL. Good. Oh, awesome. Yeah, I like it. Oh, wow. He, or, has he hosted? Uh, Wait, he this? hosted this week's SNL. Yes. Yeah, he's hosted a few, yeah, a few well, times. Okay, yeah. he's hosted since he's been on, right? Yeah, yeah, he hosted like this week, this Saturday. Oh my god, no, that's I wanted to check out his monologue. Yeah. Oh, I, sorry. I oh, you too. cut off. It's so weird. Yeah. I'm dealing with internet issues even though you're in the next room. Nope. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's penalty right there. Zach Chapel, uh, pick a category. Name that comic or do you die? Uh name that comic. Name that comic. Last uh opportunity here. Born in 1974, this comedian's comedy has been characterized as observational with frequent commentary on celebrity culture and class. Her approach to stand-up largely relies on costumes and an air of mock refinement and elitism. 1974? Mm, born in 1974. Ding. Ben Hardin. Tracy Ullman? Uh, no. <clears throat> Zach Chappell. Kathy Griffin? Kathy no. Griffin? Like, which one is it? Griffin. The redhead red. one. Yeah, she's fun. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I think she's older than that. She has a show called Another Period. Oh, Dong. Oh, Dong. Oh, Dong. Oh, Dong. Um, I know it now. Uh, oh, oh. Oh, uh, oh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Oh, oh, this is fun. This is I, uh, I love this part. This is my favorite part. Uh, oh. Someone knows the answer, but the name isn't there. <laughs> Dong. <laughs> Dong. I just want to keep that. <laughs> uh, fuck. Oh, my God. What's her name? Is it Nick Blazer? It is I not know it. Fuck. Ben Harkins. <laughs> it's <laughs> Natasha Leggero. Natasha <laughs> Leggero. Oh. Uh, Natasha. Yeah. She's so great. I knew that. Sorry, Nikki. Sorry, Natasha. One of my favorites. Also, uh, Nikki plays one of my favorites. Yeah, both great. Mm -hmm. Always mess with the names. So All right. Start with that, that is name that comic. Here is a G's who died. Born in 1903. What? Dying in 2003 from, duh, uh, this USO comedian. Uh, on, on July 4th, 1982, performed a stand-up concert in St. Louis in front of two million people. In uh, oh, Zach Chappell? Oh, sorry. I, I thought you were done. Uh, oh, is uh, it Bob Hope? It is Bob Hope. I'll give you that. I mean... I'm sorry. I would You, you pause for a second and I... Okay, well, I, I let him buzz in. and uh, But here's just a fun fact. Uh, while he was on stage, he said uh, uh, the best I ever did before was 500,000 people, but I must be getting better in my old age. <laughs> uh, what a like charmer. It. Okay, this one's going to go quick. Be, be on your buzzers. This comedian died in 2008 and has been in plenty of movies with Kevin Smith and had the bit where it's the seven words you can't say on television. Dang. Oh, oh. Ben Harkins. It's George Carlin. That is incorrect. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Jesus. It's actually Jorge, like Jorge Curtis. 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 Wait, no. <laughs> no. I'm just like, I, I've been soup brain for months, so I'm just like, do I not know who George Carlin is anymore? I don't know. <laughs> what are our results, Emma? Uh, well, Chad, this is, uh, this is going in the wiki, because we got ourselves a three-way tie. A three-way tie. Everybody has to uh, Very nice. All right, whoever gives me money, uh, the most money, gets gets the win, or you guys can be tied. I'm fine with tied. Okay, fine. I'll take a tie. Okay. Zach? Uh, Zach. I'm going to give, give you 50 cents. Oh, yeah. shit. Zach Chappell is the winner this week, everybody. Uh, 50 cents, or minus 50 cents. 
Very, very nice. Okay. Is it time? Down. Is it time? It's um, it's almost time. Oh. Yeah. Uh, so Ben, you already did this part, so uh, you get to watch us do the show and tell because that counted as the best show and tell I've seen in so long. Your piano stuff. That was. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that'll something. be my show and tell. That's great. Yeah, unless there is something else you want to show and tell, like just something you can grab or whatever. I mean, uh, I've got you know, um, I've got just an uh, man. He he showed off his uh, like all his like swastika collection and stuff like that. It was pretty cool. What is Nazi memorabilia? <laughs> yeah, yeah. A lot of, uh, I mean, he said I'm, he was preserving history. <laughs> no, I think I'm. I, I think all all the shit in my room is kind of mediocre. You know. Oh, here's something that I'm gonna I'm gonna do. Uh, I found this at a garage sale today. It is a. It is Mattel, and it's a it's a it's a gear game. And it's from like 19, what was the year, Emma? 62. 1962. And it's just like a hand way open. You price it out on eBay? Uh, no, but I'm going to. So it's like, it's one of these kind of things. So you'd like, oh, I've seen the... this. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what I'm doing. I haven't played with it yet. Yeah. You turn this one. Yellow one that's on top of the red one. Yeah. This, all this kind of stuff. I don't know. It just seems neat. That's a good condition. Yeah, it is. Uh, Zach, you wanna? If you wanna, you've got a computer right in front of you. Hi, here. Yeah. Press that out for me real quick. Yeah, yeah. 1962 mint condition with a ten dollar price sticker on it still. Uh, that uh -oh. I can, I can get off. Yeah. Uh oh. Total. Uh -oh. <laughs> um, All right. Wait. Well, uh, what was it again? High High Gear game. High Gear game. Yeah. 1962. It's pretty sweet. You got some good stuff at the garage sale. Yeah, I did. I also got some knickknacks and some DVDs. What DVDs did you get? I got Team America World Police. I got The Wedding Singer. Haven't seen that in a long time, but I remember it being good. I've watched yeah. that movie so many times. Yeah. Um, the other one. Wait a minute. Have you not? What? You haven't seen The Wedding Singer in, in a long time? Really long time. Once again, information that would have been. Uh, what's the fucking line you um, told? Guy. Yesterday. Yeah, that's I've seen a lot. So, yeah. And, <laughs> uh, fuck, what's the other one? It's uh, Boiler Room and then one other one that I can't remember. Yeah, some good ones. Blades of Glory? No. I don't know. Mm. I have a knickknack. You have a knickknack? Yeah, it's a it's a knickknack that was left by one of my roommates. I used to have um three or four of them, and now I just have the one. And um, I think it was like an art item. I don't know. It's supposed to mean something, probably. What's it called again? This. Uh huh. This is my Monsanto baby. <laughs> what the fuck? Why is it called a Monsanto, baby? Because it has a Monsanto sash on it, of course. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird. I think I, I left one in the garden at the house that I moved out of. Yeah. Just in the front. Because, I don't know, I had several. <laughs> I tried to give one to mm -hmm. Lars Soderlund, but he refused it for some reason. I don't know why he wouldn't want one of these. How much would you say that weighs? More than five pounds, right? <laughs> it's dense, yeah. Yeah, yeah you could get a workout. Yeah, yeah, I've been doing I've been doing those on Monsanto uh <laughs> uh lips. What's that called? Kettlebells. Kettlebells. I got Monsanto bells. Baby <laughs> bells. <laughs> That's the cheese. Mm -hmm. This is not made of cheese. It's made of like um some kind of dense plaster. So yeah, this is my uh my baby, my GMO baby. Where do you keep it? In the hallway upstairs, I pass by it every morning mm. um, on my way to the shower. <laughs> you never trip over it? No, but... Uh, That's a good idea, though. <laughs> I'm going to put it right at the top of the stairs. <laughs> it's sneaky. Ooh. Yeah, its eyes are so... Its eyes are really dead. Are they, are they meant to um, be... Oh, I think like you're it. supposed to paint it. Yeah, that's what I was... No, it's a ghost. It can be okay. any color you want it. You can have 
every race of Monsanto baby. That's what you should tell people. What if, like, you should leave it out more obviously. So when people ask, be like, oh, that's my abortion baby. Like, that's, <laughs> that's my, uh... I'll put it on the mantle. Yeah. Actually, well, I had them in the class display case at my last house. So people would always ask, why do you have those? And I, I, I kind of tell them different things. Yeah. I was going to say, you got to have to put had, different stories. Yeah. So this is the, uh, what are those babies? What babies? <laughs> what are you talking about? They were babies. Now they're art. So yeah, that's my Monsanto baby. It's great. I got lots of stuff for show and tells in the future. <laughs> <laughs> Zach, do you have a? Uh, do you have one? Yeah. Well, it's actually a combination of three things, but I've combined it into one thing over the years. <laughs> <laughs> so we got this cool mess that I found at a garage sale or at a estate sale. Gave it to me for a dollar. That's a good deal for that mess. Those yeah. are. Uh, that's yeah, it's one of the first ones made. It's like from 1985. One of the yeah. first latex masks. Latex. This, uh, this uh, little porcelain bear underneath. Got that when I was like one years old. Never got rid of it. And this bad boy, the homie Chad got me. Zoom in on that. Death Row Records chain. Yeah. Birthday present. What a beautiful. The only one he ever gets. <laughs> <laughs> now it watches over you. So oh. that's cool. Uh, oh yeah, I looked this up on here. It's uh, about goes for once sold for about thirty five bucks. Okay. I think I'll keep it. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's worth keeping. I think it's cool. I like that. It's neat. Emma, mm -hmm. are you going to bring us to uh, top three? Top three? Yeah. Shit. Okay. Top three. There's no um, real theme for it. <laughs> oh, it is top three. Yeah, no, I meant oh. the, there's no theme song. Oh, no, okay. this, this, this top three is a very specific theme, somewhat specific. I mean, as specific as the other ones are, I guess. Am I the only one that has trouble with this game? Uh, Zach, do you have trouble with this game? Uh, top three? Mm -hmm. okay. Not at all. <laughs> ben, I feel like you're a shoe in for top three. I have so. no idea what it's going to be, though. What, what, could it, what could the topic possibly be? Yeah. What could it be? That's that's for you to uh, not know quite yet. Yep. Um, yeah. And let me write down my scoring system. Got to come up right. with an idea. Yeah, hold on, real quick. Uh, no. Um, so top three. Welcome to the top three. This is the um, highly competitive game where we each name our top three of a thing in a category. Uh, your top three can be hypothetical things that d may or may not have occurred in your life. You may or may not have encountered in the real world, <laughs> or they can be real and they can truly apply to your life or um, things that you've encountered in the real world. Uh, this week, we'll each be naming our top three of. Hold on. <laughs> Decorative weapons. Decorative weapons. Yeah, I did it because Ben has swords on his wall. Yeah. That's a good one. I mean, I came up with it before this, you know, because I knew you had swords on your wall already. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I take a lot of pictures from this angle. The, yeah. Uh, okay. So I figured you might have a hierarchy. So we'll we'll get started with uh, with Chad Johnson. Are you, are you prepared? Decorative weapons. Decorative. De decorative. <laughs> what? So um, I think it'd be cool to have, like, okay, so my old room. And my old place was like an office above a storage unit. Pretty sweet. It was just big open space. And one of the walls was like shitty wood, but it was thick wood. So I just threw darts into it all the time. And I think it'd be sweet to have a wall with uh, that you could throw throwing knives into because I like throwing knives. And I think that'd be cool to have just as a decorative decorated wall in like one of those one of those lofts in New York that cement everything, and you got to take a take a, a elevator up to that kind of place. Okay. So I think I just described more of a place than a weapon. Um, throwing knives is my answer. I'll accept it. Okay, thank you. Um, number two. Number two, fancy swords. I mean, it's a. Uh, do I have to get? How specific do I have to get? I'm writing it in cursive. 
Are we talking like anime swords or like video game, like Comic Con swords, or, or like what kind um, of? Decorative? That's that's a good question. Yeah, um, we got an so here. so nothing that's like you know one of those nothing that's close to one of those Minecraft swords that you you would see on like a kid's wall. Uh, the Link's sword I I wouldn't count because like that's that's cool, but you know I wouldn't be like whoa that's that's rad. But like if someone has like a, a big like katana or something maybe even like a, a fancy uh like a rapier those yeah. are sweet and i just i like little swords that have like really ornate uh handle things like that yeah yeah like those uh, uh fancy hilt? victorian bell guards okay okay so... and, a, and a scimitar or a scimitar i don't know which how you say it but i played diablo 2 and they were shaped pretty sweet yeah, that's the curved one from uh, 13th Warrior. When Antonio Banderas, the Vikings give Antonio Banderas a Viking sword and he takes it to a metal worker and says, hey, he's trying to explain to him that he wants a curved sword. It's so funny. You know, okay, so my favorite, I, I love that movie only for the things that you're talking about kind of. So he's sitting around a campfire and he learns how to speak a different language just by going like this, like, oh, okay, <laughs> oh, okay. And like they, the subtitles kind of fade out or something like that. And then they just eventually speak English. And he's like, yep, I get it. He's watching them and it zooms in on people's mouths. And it's like, your, 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 your mother. And like, <laughs> that's like in the book, that's like a really drawn out process, him learning a language from uh -huh. like knowing none of it. But in the movie, they're just like, we need to get this boring shit out of the way. Let's just <laughs> have him. Let's just have him figure it out at the campfire. How about that? And then he makes a your mother joke. Classic. Well, yeah, that's the best, that's best way to learn a language, they say, is to immerse yourself in your mother jokes. Mm. And then they said Tatanka. He's like, oh, she's the buffalo. Number one. Oh, I thought nunchucks. 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 I saw nunchucks up in Justin Amerman's place. And uh, I was like, that's pretty cool to hang out. Zach, I think, has some up in his room. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. You went three for three on, like, all my things that I have around that I was like, that's pretty decorative. They can be the same. Um, <clears throat> no, I'm fine. Okay. That was your top three. I mean, okay, can I can I change it real quick? I'm going to change one of them. Okay. I'll, I'll change. I don't care which one, but I'll change. Uh, which one? Ooh, it's, uh, the scimitar. Scimitar. Okay. That one. Okay. Uh, to, like, an old pirate gun. Oh, okay. Ooh, okay, nice. Uh, it's called a Thalouge. I have no idea. A blunderbuss. A blunderbuss. Blunder yeah. Okay, I'm going to write down blunderbuss. Cool. All right, Zach Chapel. All Great. right. Top three. <laughs> Top three decorative weapons. I'm going to go with a lot of rings for when you got to slap someone. Like big, crusty diamonds <laughs> on it. All uh, the pointy things. <laughs> okay. Uh, Please. Let's see. A bull whip. A really long bull whip. You like, know what's weird is we get around around those donated. Yeah, yeah, and I could just like unsh get it like that. Take it off, slide it off my body. You just said you get those donated to your work sometimes. Yeah. Like, can you get one so we can just give it to Zach and let him play with it? Yeah. Because it'll be hilarious. For sure, yeah. We get them Hell yeah. Recently. Okay. Yeah. Oh, really? Do you guys sell them or do they? Yeah, we're not allowed to. We probably have some, yeah. yeah. Are they for bulls? Well, hell. Well, you could use them on whatever you want, I suppose. I think so. people buy them and then they realize how bad of an idea it is to actually own one. Like that weird metal stick thing that I have. Yeah, that yeah. thing's dangerous. dangerous. Stupid. Okay, it's the dumbest thing. What, you Number just have a, like an iron rod laying around or what? <laughs> no, it's like this big, but then you, you unclip it and then it goes... <laughs> And oh, I've seen the commercial for those. Yeah, yeah that's and it's one of those. Out everybody's eyeballs. And it's it's this really thin, you know, like a slap bracelet. It's like that that kind of thin metal, but it's it's a little bit uh, stronger. But it's just it, it is just one uh, spiral all the way up, and so it just elongates so fast and so yeah, it's terrifying. Awful. Does so it, is it effective in in combat? Because I feel like that would just kind of it just bends, wiggle around. Yep, that's it. It's not even effective. It's not effective in uh, a, a casual people sitting around hanging out setting. It, it doesn't work. It's just straight up not good. But I highly suggest buying one if you ever want to test how brave you are, because that shit is terrifying. 
<laughs> it's just it's I've never just, liked that. I haven't opened it up like yet, like they do in the commercial, but it looks so badass. But I don't know. Before you get there, gotta wear goggles <laughs> and long sleeves. Mm. Number one. Number one, Zach. Oh, I was pandering. Um, not pandering. This is vamping. I'm trying. I don't know what to do for my first one. Uh, you want a drum roll? Uh, yeah, yeah. Give me a drum roll. <laughs> and my number one decorative weapon is a car. Just driving okay. it, driving it through large groups of people. I got a. I don't know if I'm gonna accept that. Okay. It's a good weapon. Yeah, it's very effective. And cars. You know, there are show cars, and they all do mm -hmm. the same thing. I guess, I, I think he's making a good point here. Thank you. Okay, I will accept car as a tool <laughs> for running over um, innocent people. Speaking Not of innocent. running over innocent people. I don't know if they're innocent or guilty, though. That's the thing. I'm just running over people. They could be guilty, too. That's true. That's You're right. Go do it. Huh? On the way home, I just had, you know, sometimes you're driving, and then you're like, uh, I just kind of want to, uh, want to, uh, and, uh, I was, I, that was me on the way home. What if it's one really nice car running over one really shitty person? That's I think everyone could get behind that. What's the shitty person doing? Are they in the act of doing something shitty or is it just like, oh, I know that guy stole $500 from like my old lady neighbor last week or whatever. What did he do? Let's just say that. He's uh he's really unreliable. Hmm. <laughs> he's always flaking. He's really flaky. Yeah. Uh huh. He always he makes plans and then he cancels day of. And then he uh I don't know I guess his job is that he uh oh, he's a I don't parking meter guy. How about that? Ooh um, yeah okay yeah. That's an interesting that guy... That affords it some kind of um poetic justice in a way. To the car as well, because um, you can get a ticket for the mm -hmm. really nice in this scenario. Yeah, right. Hmm. Well, Zach, how nice is your car? It's, it's, pretty nice. it's, a, it's, a, it's a gold standard 2002 Dodge Neon. <laughs> okay, then let's start. You could drive. <laughs> cool. Okay, that means uh, it's Ben's turn. Okay. For top three decorative weapons. Uh, when I was in high school, I had a pair of Pittsburgh Steeler nunchucks. I don't mean to steal <laughs> nunchucks from Chad, but these were, you can decorate nunchucks in any way possible. And I, they just had like black and gold stripes on them. And I would swing them around. I, I hit myself in the funny bone really hard and just kind of collapsed on the ground for the better part of an hour. And my friends laughed at me. And <laughs> that was like a good looking, that was a good looking weapon. That's and very effective. Too. Yeah. Okay, branded nunchucks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great yeah. choice. Number two. Number two, I'm going to go with a sword carved from uh, the metal of a meteorite, which is a real thing. It's sort of this uh, glowing rainbow metal that somebody uh, forged into a sword. And I, I always thought that was like a genius uh, idea, just like uh, metal from a fallen star. Uh, and it, it's gorgeous. It's in a museum somewhere. They're just like, hey, check it out. There's like, this, I, don't, I don't think it's ancient or anything. They're just like, look at what we did to this meteorite. So I'm, I'm going to go with that for number two. Right. I love it. And then, and number, then number three or one, no particular order. Okay. Uh, my final, uh, <laughs> is, of course, the human mind. Uh, there is no oh. weapon deadlier than than the human mind, and nothing quite so beautiful as uh, the nuances of uh, the human experience and what it's capable of. Can you use it to destroy someone who's uh, criminally unreliable? Of course. Okay, then I'll take it. Yeah. Okay. Wow. What an array of beautiful weaponry we have come up with tonight. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> all right, I will now deliver my top three. What I didn't tell you earlier, Ben, is that um, if anybody matched any of the top three that I've written down previous to uh, this game, then you you got yourself a point, my friend. Ooh, um, all right. We may or may not have seen some scoring tonight. 
Um, but yeah, I, I don't I don't try to weigh it because I, I do know that part, but I don't try to weigh it. It's it is very like, you know, I'm honest about it. I appreciate that. If yeah. I knew that, I'd try to get in your head a little bit more and right. try that's to kill it wait. out. Yeah. That's why I wait to tell people. Ah, uh, using your using your weapon there. Yeah. I don't I don't want your number one decorative weapon to be used against me. Mm. My uh in no particular order, my number one is uh bow and arrow. Oh yeah. Very it's a nice good looking weapon. weapon. It's a good looking weapon. It's oh slick. God. Yeah. It's probably the sleekest of weapons. It truly it's a sexy weapon. It really is. And you know, if you can if you can shoot it with any accuracy, all the better. Very impressive. <laughs> but looks great. I do always choose bows when I play games, like <laughs> if I have the option. Um, and I would say that uh we um, well, I'll, I'll go through my three first, and then we'll look at who scored what here. Uh, number two, just a good old axe, just a nice axe to step on your wall. Sturdy. Then, you know, it's sturdy, it's it's reliable. You feel like, you know, if there were like a fire or something, you you look, if you have an axe on your wall, you look like you maybe know what to do about it. Decorative axe. Yeah, even if it's just a decorative axe. Okay. You're even if you like, are... huh? It's equal parts tool and weapon. Exactly. You're saying like I'm comfortable around axes. I'm handy. I can, you know, I can lift it. I you had to lift it to get on the wall, so that's that's good. It looks nice. I and feel even like I heard somewhere that I think I heard somewhere that axes were invented before swords, and they were used as weapons before like, before swords were ever used as weapons. And swords were invent or became a weapon because people were using knives from like cutting meat off of food. And just made a bigger version of that. Yeah, they were just sense. cutting some meat. Like, wow, we could really just scale this up. <laughs> yep. Yeah, the meat does not <laughs> have to cut it. Huh. All right, number two, X. Uh, number three, I have written here spear, um, which is sort of a combination of, of my previous two items, I guess. You know, an arrow meets an axe, makes a spear. Um, I don't know why I did this. After a spear, in parentheses, I wrote bone, and I don't know what i was going for, oh <laughs> frankly i don't a know a spear made, made out of bones bone? is it made of bone can you make a spear out of a bone i you guess you really can make long. anything out of a bone <laughs> i'm just picturing the park case intro too where he gets a spear in each one of his femurs Ooh. so he gets if there's <laughs> a uh, it's a spear uh, uh, so i'm just gonna go with spear here um bone spear bone spear Bone like a femur, spear like a... You almost had the whole... Just for what? <laughs> you almost had the whole Fellowship of the Rings. <laughs> if you would have said sword instead of spear, you would have had the Lord of the Rings. I uh, guess. Well, I was actively my trying bow. to avoid that. Huh? Oh, okay. Oh, I was just like, oh, my bow. <laughs> you have yeah. my bow. I don't need none of that. My axe. <laughs> my axe. No, we're going spear because... Uh, how neat There's spears that? in that movie. Don't don't even talk to me. That's not what this is about. This is about. Oh, I thought this was a Lord of the Rings podcast. My bad. Save that for your. <laughs> okay. Um. So um, I'm gonna I'm gonna dole out some points now if there were any earned, which uh, it does look like. Uh, we we have a score here. Uh, Ben in um listing the human mind, I would say has scored because the mind is uh like an arrow. I believe is the lyric to a song. <laughs> Mind is an arrow. Yep, that's the uh -huh. one, John Mayer. Um, let's see. Uh, I'm gonna go with uh, Chad's got a point here for darts or for throwing knives. Um, so that's like arrows. No, it's like an Ooh. axe because you can throw an axe. Too. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Well, okay. or actually a spear. You're it's actually a bit of a stretch. Throw. A bit of a stretch, but yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with a spear though. It's uh that's. That's going to count, because that's going to throw and stick. I'll take a half point if it's going to satisfy the court. Okay, we'll do a half point. Okay. Half point, thank you, court. <clears throat> um, as far as Zach, I really... You're you're on a different planet here, my friend. There's no there's no scoring here for what? you. I'm thinking originally. I'm thinking uh, fresh ideas. What's fancier than running over a bunch of people in a 2002 Dodge Neon? They were it's fresh time, man. I got a skull on the window. Sure. Well, that that skull's going to keep you better company than uh, 
the zero points you're about to give me. I know how this game goes. Uh, all right, looks like um, we, in last place, we have Zach Chapel with zero points. In second place, uh, Chad Johnson has made it with uh, one half of a point, and our winner with a whopping entire whole point is Ben Oh, Hart. my God. Oh, my God. Well Thank, you well so done, Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It's an honor to win the, the top three. Yeah, that's it's tough. Very few. That's going in the wiki for sure. So with uh, with cars and running people over, on my way home today, I was in kind of one of those moods of just like, man, I just got to, you know, you, so I, on my way home, I was like, oh, I'll just download Grand Theft Auto and then I'll just go do that and I'll get it out of my system. Uh, on my way out of the, of my work, uh, the, you know, manager on duty, she comes out and she goes, oh, hey, can I talk to you real quick? And I was like, I clocked off. So usually no, but whatever. And she goes, oh, I just, I need you to sign this write up. And I was like, oh, <laughs> hell no. Because she just, she thought I didn't do something that I totally did. And uh, it was fun walking away from try, someone trying to write you up. She didn't come after you. you she, she was just like, well, I guess I'll, I guess he wins. Yeah, well, she she said, uh, well, okay, I'll talk to like the regional manager about it. And I was like, oh yeah, yeah, let him know that I said no to, to the write up. And it was pretty great. Because he also told one of the other people that, like, hey, Chad's been here for 10 years, so if he's late, he's going to be about 15 minutes late every day. Don't ever call him about that. And I was like, mm. dude, that's fucking great. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah, that's a great, that's that's a power. Yeah. yeah. It's it's a it's a, it's a a trade-off because it's, like, 10 years, and then it's like, okay, now you can kind of flub when you come into work. Yeah. She should email the write-up in to uh, podcast if she wants it answered. Oh, that is a good idea. Is that a good transition? Yeah. Zach? <laughs> oh, what do you want to hear? Some emails that we got this week? Yes, I do want to hear some emails. The podcast at gmail.com is where right. you send those emails. And we're going to answer some questions, Ben. We're going to all figure it out together because uh, we get some weird ones. Zach picks his nose. It's a whole thing we got going on. I was scratching my nose. He was eating I was it. giving he it was, one of these. Hey, everybody watching this, go <laughs> back for like 10 seconds. He picks it and he eats it. I saw it. I, I didn't do either of it. Okay. <laughs> You're going to edit this and you'll see. You're going to edit this and you'll see. Dude, come smell my breath. It doesn't. There's no boogers on my breath right now. I'd have no idea. We're going to have to rewind. Oh. <laughs> yeah, cool. roll the tape. Okay. Mm -hmm. No, email number one uh emails yeah this is uh from it doesn't have a name will sticking my head in the freezer help wake me up in the morning probably yeah oh, take a shower and then do it and then it really will there you go Ooh, yeah if you, you get the moisture in your hair and your eyebrows mm -hmm. stick it in there you'll get uh real fresh real quick yeah. Yeah, and then alternatively, it's like going out in the in like a winter morning. Alternatively, if you want to get a really long, deep sleep, you can stick your head in the oven. True. You know, it's not the heat; it's the gas you're looking for. If you do that, <laughs> cool. It's, still, it's an appliance. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so yes, it does work, and a uh, oven works in the opposite. Next question. Um, would it be, is it weird if your shampoo scent doesn't match your conditioner scent? No. I don't kind of think a, so. I, I think I, that that's sort of, a, I, I guess I don't notice that sort of thing. I think it's good to combine stuff. You know, a little yeah, bit of this, a like, little bit of that, get a whole different scent going on. There's a little minty and a little fruity in the shower here. Mm -hmm. so. I use conditioner with no shampoo. Would you say That's conditioner is better? Or would you say shampoo is better? What? Next question. Are you making fun of me? Uh -uh. Okay, this <laughs> one this one comes from uh regular writer Jeff Parks. It says, Can the president of the United States bang anyone he wants to? One more time. Can the president of the United States bang anyone he wants to? Of course not. Look at that guy. 
Oh yeah, no, I don't think it means I don't think it means the president currently. I think it means just the all around rule for what it feels like a really cool president. Like if we had a JFK type of situation going on again. I mean, or if he did. Obama was, was like it was written into the rule book, but I mean, for I like Barack Obama. I think he uh, Barack, you know, Obama. I think he could have, uh, you know, if he just he was a very smooth talker. I don't think Michelle would be too happy about that. I think she'd let it happen. Yeah, they're all married, so it's kind of like you're not really. Su- I don't know. I get I was like, what are we saying here? It's like, could it happen? Like, obviously, it couldn't happen. Ooh. Like, there's no oh, way. Do you like, think? Do you think there's been ever been a president that's been in an open relationship over definitely. the course of? Yeah, one president got impeached for it, and the current president now is being celebrated for it. Yeah, hmm. that definitely. Happened. I was thinking more that's along not- the lines of like maybe tax. Yeah. There's not. Okay, no, so he's not allowed to. That's what we found out. Jeff, there's your answer. Yeah, that's a no-go, Jeff. Uh, yeah. This You're is a really weird one. Than getting the presidency. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is a really weird one. Uh, I don't even know. I don't even know how we have really weird uh, listeners. I just got a flu shot. Uh, first of all, how, how how do you stop a flu shot from working? I just got a flu shot, but I didn't want one because I know better. A flu shot doesn't stop the flu. It makes it happen. And with the coronavirus in existence, now I'm more susceptible, not just to the flu, but to that too. I need to stop the flu shot from taking effect or I'll die. Zach, is this one from you? Uh, no, it's from Jack Jappel. Oh, okay. Well, um, uh, it's totally so not me. I guess the way that you would deactivate it would have to be, I don't know, bloodletting? Yeah, like a like a rattlesnake bite. Yeah. You just want to get as much of the blood out as possible and then kind of let your system reset from there. Colonial What's the medicine. Opposite? What's the opposite of whatever's in a flu shot? Maybe you just inject that. Well, it's antibodies, so it'd be like probodies. Pro flu bodies. Probiotics. 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 You put some you inject some yogurt. That's what I was just thinking. Yeah, this guy Jack should definitely inject some yogurt soon. Probably Greek yogurt because it's high protein. Mm. Yeah, and it's a really good immune system. Yeah, it's good. It's like a good sour cream replacement. Yeah, Zach, I'll get you some yogurt and some kombucha. Uh, I don't know who you're talking about. That's not me. All right. Uh, okay, next one, real fast. Uh, this last one. Uh, it says, "What are some good RPG games for Xbox One?" I think it means the first Xbox, like the original Xbox. Oh, the Xbox. Do you know any good RPG games for the original Xbox? Xbox. The Xbox. That's so different from Xbox. Like from... from, Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind is on Xbox. Yeah, that's a good one. The Game of the Year edition. I don't know. What about the Jedi? There's like that big Jedi one. Jedi Outcast. Yeah. And uh, was, was Knights of the Old Republic on there too? Yeah, Knights of the Old Republic was on the first Xbox. Okay. Mm -hmm. That was a good one. Wait, Jedi Outcast is out right now. BioWare. Yeah, yeah. I think we just got that wrong. It's definitely the other one. Um, It's nice that you said we. (laughs) Zelda? I think Legend Uh, of Zelda. Nope. That's. Nope. Wrong company. You sure? I'm pretty sure. Sonic. Sonic, great RPG game. There is a, isn't there has been a Sonic RPG. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's when they jumped the, this when Sonic really jumped the shark. Yeah. It's like, I mean, uh, no, it's not. Like, they, they, they're still going. They're going strong. That fan art section on the internet, nothing's gotten. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, the Sonic fan base is never going to die, but the Sonic games have definitely kind of taken a a turn for the worse. Like, I think the last good one was like Sonic Mania, which is just kind of a throwback to the original style. It was still a little more platform. complicated than uh, the old Sonic games. Like those flowed better than Sonic Mania. Sonic Mania kind of turned it into like almost like, oh, it's more of a platformer now, and it didn't focus mm-hmm. as much on like you can start right here and you can pretty much just go throughout the whole level without even like you just keep holding forward. Yeah, and what we're learning here is like, yeah, you might be looking for like an RPG, but why not role play as the fastest hedgehog in all of the universe? All That's all what I'm thinking. That's exactly what I was gonna say. Are not all games in a way RPG games because you're always playing a role? Katamari. 
Katamari, you're playing the role of a oh, the role of playing. You're playing a role. The role I'm gonna pretend that the... that's why I was making that joke. <laughs> God, I love that game. That's a really good. Uh... It's gonna ruin my life. Yeah, have you beaten it yet? No. It's hard. It's fucking hard. She's really good. She's really far. Uh, and I've seen so many. Like I, I like that you don't rage quit. You might rage quit by like pushing buttons and turning it off and setting it down. Sometimes I have to. It's yeah. a silent, very calm rage. It's an inward rage. Inner. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> you ever follow it up with a cigarette? That's all. That's what, when, yeah, whenever I get really upset. Yeah. Yeah. I get upset. I'm just like. Oh. I kill my body. So I can't many times did Zach just yell "fuck" and then he just walks outside and smokes a cigarette. <laughs> Overwatch again, huh? Yep. Yeah. Sometimes that's all you can do. Ben, are there any other? Uh, that's all. That's it for emails, right, Zach? Yep. Cool. Ben, are there any other? Yeah, about this. Yeah. Never mind. Coming up or anything? Any? Do I have anything to plug? Uh, yeah. Any any shows? Any any kind of thing? So plug whatever you want in the whole world. Yeah. I can't. Uh, uh, check out the protests sometimes, and you know, yeah. be safe out there. Uh, wear a mask. You know. Who gives, oh, you know, yeah. I'm not doing. I'm not doing shit. You know, don't worry about me. I'll be all right. You're putting up keyboard videos on the Instagram. Check out Ben's yeah. Instagram. There we go. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. I guess I could plug my social media at the Ben Harkins. How about that? Yeah. Check cool. out my Instagram. That's fun. Cool. We will, and people will. Uh, thanks for being on our show, dude. Yeah, it was fun. Thanks, man. Yeah, take it easy. All right, man. We'll talk to you later. Sweet dreams. Later. Right. Right. How do I, how do I, how do I, did he do it? Oh, no, he didn't do it. He didn't want to do it. I guess. Oh, he's going to do it? <laughs> <laughs> did Wait, he do it? Wait, you don't want to do it? Yeah, he left. Oh, okay. Zach, your hair. My hair, too. Yeah, how's that? <laughs> okay, so I'm very, I'm, I got this haircut. So I got. <laughs> yeah, well, I've been, I've been told. That, so I have this haircut. business. This, uh, uh, so it's, it's this kind of haircut. So look right here. It's all, it's all, look at this, look at this, look up okay, my head. Okay, you look so like Gilderoy this. Lockhart. Look that up. <laughs> look Who? up Gilderoy Lockhart, dude. No, you do it. Okay, so I got I this, am looking it up. I got this business. And so the guy was cutting it, and uh, he's like, so where do you part your hair? And I was like, I don't know. I don't really, I don't know how to do it right now. This is my first time having long hair since, like, fifth grade. And it was parted like this, but, it, like, this side was so much longer and it like would it be fine, and so he just made it so uneven. So now I got this thing happening, and like all this business, and uh, so I have this haircut. I think they with... call... Huh? It's called an asymmetrical haircut. I think it's something they just do these days. Yeah, but I'm not that. Or that. I don't. I don't do that, and I see people with that cut, and I'm like, oh, there's that haircut. Especially since I've gotten this one. It's like when you hear a word, you hear it everywhere. Yeah, but at least you still have hair going on, dude. I, I just can't stop That's, looking at... It's true. Oh, boy. Oh, it's fine. It'll just, it'll just keep going. I saw a completely hairless man today, and that's uh, not scary <laughs> yet, so that's good. He was really tall. I wish it just would disappear off other parts of my body, though. Like, look at this. Let's get a hair transplant, Zach. Uh, oh, it's you too dark. Me. You can't see. Can All see the way. Me. Mmm, all yeah, the I way. Can see oh man. I connect all over. It's terrifying. <laughs> yeah, does that ever does that, does that ever connect all the way down? Oh yeah, I think it is right now. It's just not picking up on the camera. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, it pretty much is. I have like a little patch where it's not, but there's still hairs there. I like this thing in podcast. Yeah. That was my thirst trap part. <laughs> you should we should you should <clears throat> Clip that out and put it on the uh, old fits. I should. Um, yeah, so uh, I have a show coming up uh, with, I mean, I guess we all have a show coming up that's going to be this contest thing that uh, I was supposed to call Ty back about, but I just didn't. <laughs> text him back? He was supposed to text me back about it. That's so funny. Oh, uh, yeah. So last week, I was I like, was, it doesn't matter right now. But uh, so we're going to be on this. Uh, stay tuned for the details on this citywide statewide city versus city comedy competition that we're all going to be doing out of state even. out of state even i right. think Watch tacoma it. yeah tacoma's uh got a team and uh it's gonna be, gonna be fun 
I have a I have a show that I'm doing now with uh, Kyle Adams, so stay tuned with that. It's called Must Must Be Nice with uh, Kyle Adams, and Chad Johnson. Um, it's an offshoot of of this show. It's like a pod chaos presents kind of show. Uh, ben just said that was so fun to tell everyone. Thanks for having me on. Um, and thanks, Ben. You're you're welcome. Thank you, Ben. Yeah, there we go. Um, but yeah, we have the we have the Zoom account. We we have it's like this. It's like that. You you can't see this. That is okay. Oh, I, anyway. I don't even know what you're pointing. So to. we have the we have the pro Zoom account now. So there's a lot of shows that we can do that are going to be really easy to do. Emma, do you want to announce anything right now? Do you want to announce anything? No. Okay. Should no one? No else? wait. Oh shit. Truth or Dare Live is coming back. Truth or Dare Live. Hey, okay. Nope. August, yeah, this August. Stay tuned for August. Uh, it's not going to be in August. We already had the last August. October 20th, uh, which is a Tuesday at 8 p.m., so we know you're free because uh, it's a Tuesday. Um, it'll be six comics, and it'll be on Zoom, and uh, all kinds of Here's the list stuff. of comics right here. And... <laughs> It's a surprise. It's a surprise. <laughs> so I wouldn't give that away right now. Already for sure. People excited. Yeah, uh, I cannot wait. I'm so excited for it. So I'm really know. excited. I I get to be just the just the guy on the on the tech booth, which is a couch. You're the producer. Okay. Producer chat. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, and um, I'll there will be a a Facebook event by the time that this comes out. So uh, look up the Facebook event, Truth or Dare Live online, and click going, and then it, the Facebook will remind you to watch the show. I like that. Uh, Zach. Uh, two things, real fast. One, I still haven't found who's disliking the videos. Um, so manhunt still going or woman hunt. Thank you. And uh two, if you're still listening at this point, I want you to treat yourself. Just take your hand and uh slide it down your pants and just give yourself a little rub or poke, whatever you would like to do. Save it um, for the you earned it. Fans. Front or front or back of the pants. I'm teasing the only fans. <laughs> for more of that sexy ASMR, go to our OnlyFans page. It's my old jerk off instructions. <laughs> <laughs> the ASMR. I see. Aspect. I see you there, big boy <laughs> and or girl, big either way. <laughs> All right, I gotta pee. Everybody, thanks for watching, and uh, have a good time. Have a good night. I don't either. I don't know how to turn it off. <laughs>